Okay guys, today we're doing a quick walk around video on the 1966 Volkswagen Combi that we just pulled out of Montana. Just going to do kind of a first impressions walk around video similar to the one we just did on the 13 window deluxe that we pulled out of Oregon. This bus is really straight and really rusty. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that uh, it's got as much rust as it does because man, it's, it's been resprayed one time and uh, the interior actually the you know the headliner dash all that kind of stuff pretty good shape uncut dash but let's just get started here i'll start on the left front corner and we'll just work our way around and then uh, as soon as i'm done here we'll throw this thing up on the lift and uh, we'll take a look up underneath see what uh, what it looks like up under there uh, when we got this it was on blocks basically wood blocks so I pulled a set of 14 bus rims out of my pile in the back, mounted up some 195-75 R14, uh, pretty close to like what would have been on its stock. Uh, there are no hubcaps, didn't come with any. Um, and like I say, this is a combi model, so it actually, uh, it's, a, it's a two pop-out combi model, only has two pop-outs on the back. The center windows are all fixed. So let's uh, open this door. The door actually opens and closes really nicely. Uh, the door panel's got some water damage. It's kind of curled up there. I've got the seats out of it right now. Here in a minute, I'll throw the seats back in so we can have a look at those. But I figured I'd pull the seats out just so we could have a look at like the pedestals. Um, you know, up underneath the pedestals, the paint's actually in really good shape. The bulkhead is in really nice condition. Um, no cuts in the bulkhead pretty nice okay let's look up under this front mat for as much rust as this has on the rocker the front floor here isn't horrible but I would say it's probably gonna need need some patchwork uh, this is clear through right here and if you push on it it's a little on the soft side rubber mats there the uh, original kick panels are there check this out you don't run into that very often anymore with the uh, church key in the uh, correct location there. A lot of times the church keys are uh, MIA. Um, going over to the passenger kick panel, it's actually in pretty good shape too. Looks like there's a hornet's nest I missed. Uh, let's move up to the dash. All in pretty nice shape. The odometer shows 66,000 miles on it. Who knows if that's uh, original or not. No telling. Up to the upper air vent, actually, paints in excellent condition on it. I mean, again, it's just really unfortunate that this thing's as rusty as it is, because it sure it sure has a lot of really cool features. Um, just that that clean, uncut dash and and uh, all the interior kind of there. If it would have been stored a little better, um, man, this would have been a, a really cool bus. Okay, moving around, around to the front here, let's take a look at this front bumper. Uh, the front bumper, towel bars pushed back in. Uh, bumperettes are pretty hammered. The blade itself is in okay shape. Looks like it's got a, had a hook on it at one point right there. The nose actually looks very rust free and we'll get a look at it a little better here in a minute when we've got it on the lift and see how it looks up underneath. But it's actually got a really straight nose on it. Uh, moving up here to the bottom of the windshield. Uh, it's got some rust, but it's not. it doesn't look like it's through. It's actually pretty solid. You push on it, uh, feels pretty solid. Obviously those windshields need to come out and that needs to be replaced. Probably not gonna be able to see it on the video, but uh, it's got Delog windshields in uh, both, both windshields. So uh, original windshields, a couple of rock chips, but no cracks. That's kind of cool. All right, moving around to the passenger front corner. Let me swing back over here real quick. To the driver's side, I didn't really address the dog leg. Um, let's look at this dog leg. The dog leg is actually pretty dang straight. No rust. Uh, looks pretty good. As we come back around and we address this rocker here in a minute, we'll uh, look up underneath the wheel well and uh, take a look at that rust. And then we'll also take a look at it when we get it on the lift. Um, just kind of see what we're dealing with. All right, back around to the passenger front corner. Front door's really straight. Uh, no, maybe, maybe a couple little dents, not bad. Hinges are in good shape. They open and close nicely. 
they're not sprung there's no cracks um, same with the driver's side the door works great um, no cracks in the hinges uh, back around to this dash really nice clean dash up overhead to the vent if my camera will adjust nice and clean and again as I mentioned before really nice clean bulkhead let's swing in here and we'll get a close-up on the M code plate and take a look at that haven't decoded that yet um, something kind of fun uh, M coder M, M code decoder Dot com, I think it is. You can jump online and get all the information about your bus, uh, where it was delivered, just all the options it had. All right, let's swing up under here. A little bit of cancer. Uh, it's kind of clear through. And when I get into the cargo floor, I'll show you kind of along the bottom of the bulkhead uh, some pretty, some pretty significant cancer there. This dog leg again, like I said, looks good. This side floor. Um, Again, kind of crusty. You know, the, the center is actually really nice. They make patch panels that only come in here about maybe 20 inches. This could probably get away with just patch panels on, on uh, both sides. I don't think it would need a complete front floor. There's a door panel. Again, some water damage. Doors closed nice. All right, uh, cargo doors. They're actually straight, but down along the bottom, quite a bit of rust. And I'll open them here in a minute. We'll get a closer look at it. But look at that rocker. Oh man, it's pretty crusty. Let's open the door. There's the bottom of the front cargo door. Just a little uh, tidbit here. For maybe some bus newbies i'm sure all the guys that have been around them for a while know this but a lot of times a common misconception on these doors is that they are called barn doors and uh vw actually did refer to them as barn doors in some early literature but of course barn doors these days are referred to uh 55 and earlier buses so these are actually called cargo doors so right inside the cargo door if you look along here Got some rust and then uh, got some more coming up here and there inside rust I mean honestly this thing's gonna need some pretty serious rust repair now the cargo floor itself out in the center the cargo floor is actually pretty solid and you could probably get away with just doing the inside edge here and then the outer edge over there but honestly by the time you get to that point it might be better off just to put a cargo floor in it here's some more of that rust we were looking at a minute ago the bottom of the bulkhead actually is probably repairable and then the rest of it back over here to the driver's side it's got some pinholes coming through there but a lot of times you'll see these bulkheads will actually be rusted up two or three inches and this bulkhead's not in bad shape. It's salvageable, but definitely needs all this lower metal. Uh, pins on the rear cargo door and the latch are missing. So that would that needs to be sourced. And then let's see if we can get a shot of the roof. I don't know if you'll be able to see inside here, but that structure piece there, that, that bow has got some damage. Um, the roof actually has some damage on it. And I'll back up here and uh, see if we can get a shot of that. Let's move up here. I'll do a quick walk around to the roof. Hopefully it shows up. You know, one thing on this is the gutters. The gutters are just really dry. So this rust is kind of all isolated to the rockers themselves. Kind of the lower six inches of this bus. The roof and the gutters, the roof's obviously dented. I don't know if you can see here, but it's got some pretty good, pretty good dents along the roof. Gutters themselves though are really nice. 
All right, let's kick around to this right rear corner. Um, doesn't appear, eh, this might be bowed a little. I don't know if you can see there. It, it could be bowed just a little bit. Doesn't look like it's from collision damage. A lot of times these buses will get hit in the rear and it'll buckle the quarters. This looks like it's more like a tire. Someone was pulling a tire off or something and kind of bumped that out. Right rear corner is nice. You can see some rust here, and actually the battery tray on this is pretty rusty. So we'll, sh we'll show that when I get it up on the lift. The rear bumper is here, but it's kind of rough. It needs some work. It's been cut for pea shooters, and it's, it's just a little rough. The deck lid isn't too bad. It's actually pretty decent. The apron, the apron's here. It's had a little bit of cutting on it for pea shooters. No engine on this bus. Actually up in here looks pretty nice though. It's not cut at all. Sometimes you'll get these and they're all, the apron's all chopped up. You can see the battery there is just kind of hanging through a hole. So it definitely is gonna need the battery tray replaced. Let's open up the back hatch. The back hatch actually is in really good shape. Um, no rust along the uh, bottom of the window and uh, all the lines on the hatch are pretty nice so and it opens and closes nicely all right everything in here is kind of just the way it's supposed to be you know it's just gray primer that's the way these combis came looks like it's got a busted pop out latch there Latch on this side's good. All right, back around to the left rear corner. A little bit of a dent down in here. Some rust starting along that, uh, along that inner seam. This side's pretty straight. Um, I forgot to mention, uh, this has been, it has had uh, scoops put on at some point. So it's got holes drilled for scoops right and left. The scoops are gone, but, but it has been drilled. Gas door's got a little kink in it too. I guess I didn't mention that. All right, let's swing around to the side that's just really crusty. The long wall. The long wall has some significant rust, as you can see. It's funny because it's, it's kind of all in the outer here. The inner is actually intact and fairly solid. When we get it up on the lift here in a minute, we'll take a look at it just a little bit better and see just how solid it is. We'll take a look at the outriggers and the jacking points as well. Um, these lower, these, these vertical supports are completely gone on the bottom. So, I mean, it's gonna need probably, you know, a patch panel up into about here along with uh, the floor and in those vertical supports. Long wall's pretty straight though. If you back up and look at it, again, no sign of collision damage on this bus. It's pretty straight. Uh, pop out frames are in good shape. I didn't really get a close up of the other side, but, but it's in decent shape. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut the camera off for a minute. I'm gonna throw the interior in. I'll show you what we have for interior. Essentially just the front seat it does have a spare tire on a bus 14 inch rim and it does have the mat for the cargo area. So I'll throw that in. We'll grab a quick shot of that and then we'll pull this thing in and throw it up on the lift. And have a look underneath. Okay, as promised, there's that mat. It's nothing special. Um, it's a little dirty. It's actually in really good shape though. It's got one little tear over there but uh, pretty decent mat. Let's take a look at the front seat. Just the uh, stock front seat. Uh, passenger side's got original upholstery on it. Driver's side's been reupholstered. Swing around, look at the driver's side. These seats are getting a little hard to find. So it's always a bonus when you find a, a bus that's got its original front seat. And then also that hasn't had the bulkhead cut out like that deluxe uh, that we picked up up in Oregon. It's really nice when, uh, when you don't have to mess with that. 
But uh, there's the front seat, driver's side's been reupholstered. Let's get this thing up on the lift and take a look underneath. Okay, we're up underneath. Uh, I got a little headlamp on. Hopefully that'll help kind of show some of these dark spots. We're on the left side of the bus on the long wall. And there's a little bit of, this is that inner rocker. There's a few soft spots on it. It's not completely rotted out, but it's definitely gonna need to be changed out. Uh, front jacking point actually doesn't look too bad, but it's got some rust up in here, kind of uh, some rust that's permeating down from uh, the bottom of that bulkhead. Outrigger's got a dent there. Um, rear outrigger, pretty solid jacking point. You know, it's not completely rusted out, but it definitely has a few soft spots. Um, right here, this uh, heat tube's just separated. Um, you can see right there, they kind of wired it up, but it's completely separated, just rusted away. Up here on the front, actually not, not bad. It's all attached. Feels, the tube itself feels pretty solid. Just kind of separated here on the back. All right. Well, let's look up here. This is kind of a bad spot. This is right behind the left front wheel. Turn my light down a little bit. And you can see that rust is clear through and it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty crusty right up in there. Frame is actually really solid though. I mean, the, the frame itself is, is in good shape. Inside of this uh, front dog leg looks nice. And around to the nose, little spot up in there. That's where that front floor is kind of has some pinholes. We've got a little rust right here. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it definitely has some crusty spots. Here's the front floor. frame there's that big hole we were looking at inside the cargo area and obviously to fix that that outrigger and dog leg or excuse me outrigger and jacking pointer gonna need to be changed this is under the cargo doors on the you know passenger side obviously there's the floor where we were looking at some soft spots and the inner rocker is pretty crusty. Rear jacking point outrigger, pretty straight, pretty solid. Frame's not bad. And actually the apron, I think I mentioned in the video that it had been cut for pea shooters, but actually it hasn't. This side has just kind of been bent up a little bit. Rear bumper has obviously been cut for pea shooters. Here's that uh, battery tray. Looks like a wasp nest there too that I missed. Battery tray is pretty crusty. And moving around to the other side, fairly solid.